Hello, this is Renji, and welcome to Portal. I thought if I'm starting my YouTube channel, right, would be the best game to start off, and I thought Portal, the Portal series, really. Since, you know, I'm uh, I'm making a Portal mod, cheeky link in the description below, um, I thought it just makes sense for me to play this. Should say, I apologize if there's any lag, my computer is very bad. I'm getting a new one. Oh, don't worry, but uh, things are very choppy at times, so I do apologize for that because on YouTube it can look very sickening at times. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation I should say, it's been a very long time since I've played Portal. Your has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all Enrichment Center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from That's a sad coincidence, isn't it? Oh god. Three, two, one. Cause hey, what a what a coincidence the message shorts out on the safety features. Imagine if it down like airplane or something. I guess on airplanes it's a real person, so that wouldn't really work. And so these ones are These puzzles are simple, these. So I think Excellent. I remember all the puzzles, but I can't confirm. It's been too long. I, I, I don't know, know anymore. The the I did know that. Subtitles are Will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Interesting facts we learn every day. Lovely. Is anything I've I, place the weighted oh. storage cube on the fifteen hundred megawatt aperture science heavy duty I'll, super colliding I'll do that, super button. That. Something I've I've been wanting to do so my mod average so mines, I'll see in Portal 2, but something I, I I'm interested in as much as I prefer Portal 2 to Portal 1. Um I'm interested in seeing how the mapping is. The I've never mapped in Portal 1. A lot of people have when they do for Portal 2. Test. I'm sorry, I'm speaking with the dialogue, I shouldn't. But they, a lot of people have, when they map for 2, they map for 1, 4. I haven't, but that'd be interesting. Um, I went directly to Portal 2 and directly to All Aperture, which, now that I think about it, may explain a few things if you know about the mod. Your this doing very well. One of my friends can tell you what every chamber is. I cannot, especially since the um, map names don't align with the chamber. Of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. That's... I've never really thought about that, but the feeling you would get from emancipated teeth or disintegrated teeth is, well. I mean, it's a good way to remove wisdom teeth, I mean, you honest. Are now but. Crosshair is not good. There we go. Science handheld portal like device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional ah, wait for this. Through that. To be completely safe. It's a point the in this meeting. However, here. has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, just dip in the under toilet no circumstances and the should move. Starting room. Um, what I was gonna say is I, I, I said I prefer, I, I, I like the crosshair. I should say I prefer the Portal 2 crosshair. Um, I, it, I, I, I personally think it's a much better design for it, but to each their own opinion. Something can be said about Please Portal. Please proceed to the chamber lab. And, oh. Mind the gap. It's the London Underground. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm probably saying this a lot due to the... Well, I'm thinking this probably because I'm a well composer Remember, musician. The but the soundtrack... Bring your daughter to work nice. day is the perfect time to have her tested. And anyone who's played Portal will be able to confirm that. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. You know, this chamber could be improved. Do you want to... Do you want to... Well, I can again, tell you how. Work. 
with jazz. That, I think, is an objective It's funny, it almost looks red, the portal from here. The old portals are red, that's why it caught my eye. Um, oh, actually, yeah, this, this reminds me of it. In another mod I'm working on, um, we're using a Portal 1 style. And something that annoyed us about the Portal 1 elevators is the glows on the doors, and we remove those. We actually remove those, and I mean, we much prefer it. And, um, looking forward to seeing that, that mod, by the way, Portal Experimental. Definitely do recommend it. A lot of hard work being put into it. Uh, we have a, a. It's all in Portal 2, and we have a, a destroyed Portal 1. I won't say more about it. Go check it out for yourself. It's uh, very nice if I do say so myself. But, uh, it's a very nice aesthetic. It's made by uh, myself, but led by one of my very good friends. Is this? Oh, God. Oh, well, I... Oh, that's interesting. The crosshair becomes white. Hmm. Well, beige kind of, kind of the grabby particle things. Once again, I do apologize for the lag. Um, I would say it's going to get better, but it's not. It, the maps are going to get more complex. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. On top of that, I use arrow keys. Shame all you want. Uh, so the movement isn't the most optimized. You know, I'm definitely not going to be doing any speedrun strats at this game. Uh, avoid like this. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. I, I was not going to say anything. But I've I've had complaints from people who have worked in Portal One, saying these signs are annoying because they were low resolution. But have they upscaled these? Have they made higher resolution versions of these icons? Because they look very high res, arguably more high res than the ones in Portal Two. So I don't know if they've they've upscaled. Because I know they released loads of updates recently, loads of Source games, um, because of the Steam Deck that's coming out. Um, Portal 2 being the first Team Deck game. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. I, I, maybe. It's that. I, no clue. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, mm -hmm. alarms and yeah. flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. I, there you are. Un unbelievable. Ah, oh, there you are. Yeah, like these. The I'm even gonna jump it. Other than that, magnificent. But yeah, the um, it was it was quite fun because when we were working on that for one second, I'm gonna drawing it out this because I think the the that's basically relatively short because I know a lot of the puzzles. Just doing this for the novelty of it. Um, so I'm gonna talk about my own stuff. Uh, but for Portal Experimental, when we were porting over the Portal One textures, we first of all, since it's all destroyed, I went through and destroyed all the textures, sorting them up, adding slight mossiness uh, to them and all that. Something that's interesting, very interesting that we did, was when we ported these over, the reflections were... You could tell the reflections in Portal 2 were so much better than Portal 1, that these had so much more shape and shine to them. Uh, which also was a problem in its environment, so we rusted these up a bit and then removed... Uh, did, uh, I'd say, masks that would remove the reflections in a dynamic way. It's very cool. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an oh, unsatisfactory okay. mark on there your official go. testing record. Oh, followed by lovely. Death. Good luck. It's just fun because I tried recreating one of these in Portal 2. Um, and firstly, these textures of the bowl don't exist in Portal 2, so that's very fun, frankly. Um, when you just have a missing texture just sailing through the air. That's that's quite entertaining. Um, but the, since I've never done these, I was having fun following Portal 1 tutorials on making these. It was quite entertaining if I do that myself. Uh, obviously, having only been in Portal 2, I'm used to everything being uh, 
either an instance or an entity. So doing things manually for change was uh, quite, quite interesting. Very impressive. Strike. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. So we have one of two solutions here. I remember playing this for the first time. I struggled. I struggled with all the puzzles. I'm not very smart. Um, but it's funny how crazily obvious this is. But um, there's a radio there. Not going to the radios because they just do a funny buzzing noise. Okay. But I will be exploring Ratman Dance. And resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. I don't remember all the Ratman Dance. Those that I do remember, I, I will be visiting, so don't worry. Hello again. To reiterate. It's a very cool voice lines. That's something I'm very much so looking forward to in both mods. So I think voice out. Oh, there it is. The music. I'm gonna raise the music volume. Where is it? Absolutely beautiful. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. So, oh, there you go. So that's, uh, hmm. yeah, these are the same, but the, the sign texture. Uh, I can't see. The sign textures are very upscaled. I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to Momentum. confirm. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. It's uh, quite cool seeing the subtitles being changed font on the Steam Deck. I wonder if they're going to do the same things to Team Fortress 2. Wouldn't that be good? Some nice updates for TF2 with meaning and purpose. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. <gasps> Lovely. I, I, I wouldn't have thought of that myself. sound for the platform. I've actually never done this stream very quick, this quickly. This is a right for me. Hmm. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in subject phone town. Yeah. Raises a question. Where does Shell live? Well, where's her home town? Then again, it does it is a mini black hole generator. Well, not generator, but uses a mini black hole. So it probably actually is more valuable. Then again, I I don't have all the um all the data on mini black holes. Uh, surprising that may be, uh, so I, I cannot confirm or deny the, I don't know where I'm going with this, whether GLaDOS statements is a fact or not. But, you know, we can trust GLaDOS, so I'm going to say that, yes, it is a fact. And there you go. Oh, actually, speaking of average snowmines, uh, I was recently asked to uh, if you know that. Well, 
I was just asking. As we were told, it'd be interesting for me to do a uh, playthrough with a developer commentary of um, the mod. Uh, of the first chapter, since that was out. Uh, do definitely check it out. Uh, Roy, who you'll be seeing of uh, very soon, uh, played Average Soul Mine. So do check that out. Link to that playthrough in the description. I'll link the entire playlist in the description. His playthrough of the mod. Uh, and I'll link also the mod's uh, Steam page and mod DB, or at least Steam page. Well, if I don't forget, because it's very likely that I'm going to forget. But uh, onto chamber. What what chamber is this? Let's see. I don't like this. Twelve. Ah, uh, twelve. Get yourself. Oh goodness me! I'm not meaning that. I'm very agile, as you can see. I'm the king of agility. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, why does that work? Don't cheat the puzzle. I mean I can't, I'm sure someone can, but I definitely can't. <laughs> ah no. Okay, so the cubes Yeah, th that's something very interesting, is that um I discovered, so I don't know if this is true or not, so someone, if you know Portal 1, one mapping, do you definitely tell me, but I'll see, uh, since these are props, they're just uh, physics props, you can't really do the uh, cube respawn thing um, just by fizzling the cube directly into it. You gotta either put like a giant invisible fizzler in the entire map, or as I saw in the uh, modding wiki, apparently there's a hidden input for the cube for the physics problem that will only work if it's this model and that's the fizzle output so i don't know if that is true or not but uh, if it is that's interesting because i always thought you uh, couldn't you know so if someone could confirm that if, uh, if that's possible or not um you definitely tell me You are in control of both portals. This next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. Well, that's good to know, because this might take a very long time. In fact, I say it might take a few days, because unfortunately, this is where we get off. That's a cheeky reference. But uh, that is it for Portal for today. Uh, there should be another episode out uh, th this week, uh, later this week, and maybe the entire series out by this week. If you definitely liked the video, please do consider subscribing to my channel, liking the video, obviously, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think, what uh, you think could be better, and, uh, you know, first video ever. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you some other time. Goodbye.